Hello everyone, and welcome back to some of place Slay like the Spire Dailies. It's the Ironclad. Vintage Brewmaster and Lethality. That seems very overpowered. With all the, the, the better portions Brewmaster I kinda like. Lethality is really strong on the Ironclad. And then Vintage gives us a lot of relics. I guess we need ways to get cards that hit multiple times for Lethality to pay off, and Vintage doesn't allow us to get that many cards, but still, I like all three of these mods. So let's go. Uh, one elite, two elites, and a shop on both situations. Uh, so I want to go for two elites and a shop, and I guess I want to go the right side because there's more normal fights here and less question marks, and I kind of want to get some relic, uh, some relics. The vintage modifier. That's a good one, the fire potion. Yeah, I think we're gonna use the fire potion. Poison potion, I'll take it. The happy flowers, okay, I guess. Do I want to rest or do I want to get another relic? Probably another relic, so we're gonna go this way. This is 11 damage. Let's play this first. Get a random attack. Play this. Okay. Ah, no, we can't. So, bam and bam. That went well. The, extra, the white beast statue is actually amazing. Free attack. Alchemize. Poison my dude. Alchemize. Hit you with this. Get five block, and then we take five damage. It's still in the burning blood region, so spec territory. I guess we'll weaken you, play alchemize. Hit you with the potion, play alchemize. And kill you. Ancient potion is fine, we already got one. I mean, bag of preparation is nice, bronze scales is pretty good. Happy flower. I guess with alchemizers, happy flower is actually okay. 9, 18. This guy is 21. So. I guess take the artifact potion. Random skill. 13, 26. So we can kill this guy. Get 12 block. Hit him for 12. Uh, kill both of them. And then we get the potion of the white beast statue. Steroid potion, that's 5 strength for a turn, right? Yeah, it's not bad. Another fight, eh? 5 strength. Hit you for 14. Hit you for 16. Hit you for 14 and hit you for 14. The lantern and the happy flower gave me something. Choose an attack card, it will always be in your starting hand. That's pretty bad, but at least we'll have a strike every single turn. Gonna draw some cards. Let's see. Fairy no bottle, not too bad. Kill this one. Actually. Okay, that's certainly not worth it. Maybe I should have attacked the sneaky gremlin. Do I actually want to... I mean, six... Two attacks on this one and then a block? Get hit for seven? No, but then I'd rather kill you. Don't get weakened, and next turn we kill the gremlin wizard. Then we do some healing.
So now he's dead in two turns. It's exactly enough for the region portal to dig through, even though the end is kind of useless. Meat on the bone, eh? I don't need. I don't need smoke bone. Oh, we'll, we'll see which way we go. This is dangerous. I guess I don't really need this. Add a random skill to your hand. Ooh, that's nice. That's actually, like, really good. Do I want the other alchemize? Or hit this guy and kill him? Taking 11? I think that's okay. energy, another vulnerability. Certainly we can't kill. No, we could though. We have one alchemize left. I like cycling through the potions like this. Eleven and uh, thirteen is not enough to kill. If we put make you vulnerable it's enough to kill though. Because we can do this and this. I guess defend for no reason at all. Ouch. Taking another 11 is sad. And then we draw defense this turn, of course. Okay. Meat on the bone working out for us is nice. I don't need the smoke bomb again. Okay, how do we do this? I think we get Thunderclap, because... I mean, we could also get Clash if we draw four skills, though. We can't play Clash. And I think Thunderclap being an AoE is a better way of doing this. Is it worth it? That's certainly not worth it. Oh, were you kidding me? Now we would deal four l or less unblocked damage increases to five. That's completely terrible. I'm not gonna lie, that was horrendous. I might be dead now. 15 HP against this guy. That is not good at all. Okay, we gain two energy. Drink one of these. We gain four plated armor. Drink one of these. Gain a random skill. Drink one of these. Heal 10% of my max HP. Drink one of these. Random attack. Thunder. Hit him for 30. Okay, we did some good stuff. Make you weak. Get hit for 12. That's the 12th of a region with meat on the bones. Okay. Essence of steel over smoke bomb every day. Pummel is great. We can only play it once, so it's less good, but five times uh, Pummel would have been great <laughs> with the boot. Okay. A single looter. Well, oh, we can do this. This is 20. Yeah, we can do this easily, right? 7 times 4. 14, 28, and then a strike, so we can play a few alchemizers still. Guess we'll drink this. Get the energy potion. Ooh, regen! We won't kill him then. If I hit you for 7, 14, 28, and then you take 3, and then we regen 5. The regen potions don't work. Uh, four block. Five block is nine. Plus healing for four is fourteen. It's still worth it. Uh, Thirteen. It's exactly the same. And now we can discard this. Get another one of these. That's another region potion. I think we might as well kill him, right? Yeah, killing him is better than taking another tick. Potion belt is beautiful. 
two additional potion slots is amazing with the fairy in the bottle can carry us now. Let's see. Good attacks. Like this. That's a very good attack. Regular enemy combat can no longer be encountered in question mark rooms. That might work. That actually might work. Now do I want pummel strike? For some card draw? Do I want flex? Flex is good for pummel and whirlwind. I do want Havoc to upgrade and play cards off the top. I don't think I want Havoc. I want to rather upgrade the Alchemizers to make them free. And I think Pummel is not good enough. I want something like Sword Boomerang. I will anger the Mushrooms. Go on, give me Whirlwind. We got Whirlwind. You're just dead? Basically. Vulnerable side goes on, less good on us. Another pummel? Sure. Now we have two high hitting cards. Gain five strength. Alchemize. Do I want to regen already? I mean, the thing is, this is 40 damage and this is the rest, so this guy is completely dead. Did I kill him? Yeah, I killed him. So the region potion was wasted and I kinda want the blood potion. 12 block is more than this though. I will upgrade a card. It's an additional time, deals more damage, or upgrade the alchemizers. I think whirlwind is our best card. I wish I had Battle Flame later to have Whirlwind in my starting hand at all times. That would be nice. So we'll play this. Alchemize. We'll play this. We'll give you this. I think it's too early for the pummels. So I'm just gonna Whirlwind. 8 plated armor works. He's attacking for 9 times 6 though. So we are probably screwed. Do I want to become confused? No, so I take the Ancient Potion and Snack Oil to draw two cards. Some more block hit here once. I guess I lose the plated armor again, so this was pretty bad. Two explosive potions. Guess we're in business. Should play Thunderclap first. Ah, we're getting there. This is not a clean fight at all. Hexa Ghost with Lethality is very hard to win, I feel like. <laughs> the boot actually did some work there. Pendip Essence of Steel. Certainly Reaper. Reaper scales great with strength, and we have the lethality strength. Fiend Fire seems okay, but I think it is. It has to be Reaper. Choose a net five cards to your deck is probably the right way. Ectoplasm might work as well. Mark of Pain is also okay. I think I want Orrery though. Try to add some good cards. None of these cards are good cards though. Flame Barrier is nice. Holy crap! Where is my Freaking sword boomerang. Do I want immolate? Probably want immolate actually. Like there, there was armaments in there, and armaments is great because we can play after armaments. We can play in an alchemize for free. I think there's also the best attack in this part though, and I think immolate is better. 
If I get Immolate, do I want to evolve? True Grid? I don't want to play... I want to get True Grid. We could get Second Wind here. Something here. Evolve there. And try to go for some status stuff. I don't think that's worth it though. We might just want to shrug it off here. Heavy blade is... we have 3 strength from the very start, so that is 23 damage for 2. I guess 2 strikes is 18 damage, so it's better than 2 strikes. Just not entirely sure about this. True Grid is great if we could upgrade him. Do I take the Ghost of Yama or the Flame Barrier? Flame Barrier is good against multiple hits, which are really, really scary with Lethality, but... Also, two energy, we don't have the additional energy. So you just want to play Evolve whenever you play a set? Do you get a status? No. This is all pretty bad, I don't know. Get the second win. Can't evolve. Maybe we can do it with second win evolve and the burns of the emulate. Not happy about this though. This went poorly. One elite, two elites. Or two elites, but certainly we have to go for this elite. We'll go for question marks, hope to get some card upgrades or card removal or do we get more I guess we get more relics. We have a second life with a fairy in a bottle as well. So, hit you with this. Hit you with this. I could kill him with two potions. So my damage potion's gone, but I think that might be worth it. Because we gain one potion back. Yeah, we're gonna go this way for more relics. At some point we have to get useful relics for us. Oh, feed is nice. 19 and 13. It's not enough. That's enough though. I wanted to play second wind actually, but I think this is okay. An anthropic brew is in, in case we need it at some point. Ancient tea set. Ah, the best thing we got so far is the potion belt actually. We're gonna go to the shop and hope for some salt boomerangs. Or some other strength scaling. Forty damage or eighteen. If you play this, we gotta play Evolve afterwards because he's getting a lot of block off the four hits of pummel. This is sad. Because of the block he's getting, he will survive. Oh, wait. Now he's hitting us. Oh, he dies to this attack. Two ancient potions. Not the greatest. strength. That's a good one. I guess killing one of them is a 
Oh, but we have emulate. I shouldn't have played the alchemist. I should have emulated and shrugged it off. Singing ball sadly won't help. Come on. Hmm. There's some good cards here. Also, there's armaments. I feel like armaments is really good because it makes all the alchemizers free. <sighs> is Rampage good enough? Our deck is not as. I mean, we have a few cards that exhaust themselves. All the alchemizers exhaust themselves. Maybe Rampage works. It's always exhausting itself. Do I want Matryoshka though? This one and next one, so we, we certainly get the two relics of this. I think it's this better than hitting armaments and something else. Like we could get armaments and remove a defend because we just got an armaments instead. I'd rather remove a strike though actually. When you lose HP from a card, gain one strength. Great if we get some HP losing cards. Could have had a few perfected strikes, but certainly not. Rampage, do I keep it? Is there another shop coming up? Yes, there is another shop coming up. So I probably shouldn't have done it like this. Give me a whirlwind, please. Double damage thunderclap seems pretty nice as well. Kill you. Gain the artifact. Gain the strength. Play this so it doesn't get exhausted because it's ethereal. Is this too early? Do we just whirlwind? No, I think we're doing it like this. Whirlwind being gone is kind of sad because I'd like to have Whirlwind this turn. They get the plated armor. This is 13 damage. That skills you. Get enough armor here. I think this is fine. Emulate gets here. So we weaken him, play the Alchemize. Let's say Gambler's Brew. Emulate gets here. Okay. Come on, Whirlwind. For real. I'm actually gonna... There's Whirlwind. So do I block, gain 10 block first and then Whirlwind, or will Whirlwind kill you? 39. And then he takes, hits me for 11, takes 3, hits me for 11, and dies. I think this is better. Because rather than taking 22, we're taking less damage, and then we heal 9. Bag of Marbles is a good one. Twin Strike is also a good one. And flame is nice, but twin strike is the double scaling on strength one. Yeah, okay. That felt pretty overpowered. Uh, question mark or another relic? I guess we'll just fight another relic. This makes alchemize free. Random skill potion. Random power? Do I need a random power here? Could probably just... Go ahead, put this on top for next turn. Put this on top for next turn, play Twin Strike. And Whirlwind this turn. Give me the random power. Ah. Oh. You're kidding me. 
Look at this. What the hell is that? Three, 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 three? I guess we'll block ten. Take eight. I guess you should have taken the essence of steel earlier. The boot. Oh, we got an essence of steel back. Paper frog and it's been vulnerable, take more damage. And now there's another pummel, really? Ooh, the mind blast though. Hmm. Exhume also works on pummels. Mind Blast is not as great. We only have 26 cards. So if we take Mind Blast, I'm gonna take Pummel for sure. Now if we take Mind Blast, we have 28. We'll draw 7, so he Mind Blast is dealing 21 plus Lethality. If we upgrade it. That is not too bad, but it's not amazingly strong. Like, I could get... Oh, we won off playing getting Flex in Whetstone. Exhume could be nice. I like flex, and if I get flex, I probably take mind blast. Okay. Another lead. Let's see. Do we have card draw? No, we don't. Oh, yeah, we do. Second wind exhausts two blocks, gives us six, 12 block plus 9, that's not enough. So if I get... I mean, Ghost Yama is almost as good as this one actually. Eleven block, but twelve block. We gain four block for armor, that's twenty-four exactly. I don't need to exhaust cards. Perfect pennip. Three vulnerability is nice. Another armaments to upgrade cards. No, fear potion is nice. Probably more than ten damage. We will smith the armaments first, and then the second arm. Oh no, I wanted to. S I should have probably smithed the mind blast, right? I feel like that might have been the best call. Finesh armaments. Take the plated armor. Make someone vulnerable. This is 31 damage. Hey, I don't need to play anything else. It's just the kill. I think our potion setup is nice. Look at the, the rainbow color of potions. Panache again. It's beautiful. Gonna bash. Gonna pummel. Uh, the strike was useless. Should have played evolve. Flex. Thunderclap. Reaper. At least some healing. Never skill is added to your deck. It is upgrade, and I think fire potion might be better than vulnerable. Smith, I want the Mind Blast for the beginning, right? Set of the armaments. Yeah. It's gonna make the next floor a lot easier. Yeah, we, we put some put some of those cards. I want the pendip for this turn. Hopefully helps us killing these guys. Uh, play this again. The plated armor. Get an alchemist. That's more plated armor. That kills one.
35. Gonna drink the second plated armor already. He's attacking for 24, eh? Heal is useless. 9 and 8 and weak. I guess more weak on you. Oh my god, that's not enough! So we need to gamble as blue for a block to preserve our perfect. Okay. We need to start dealing some damage. Now we are debuffed heavily. Ah, uh, well, went why? Would have liked you this turn, Whirlwind. I'm missing the Whirlwind. We have the dramatic entrance though. 8, we have 16, minus 2, we have 14 block right now. Can we kill one of these guys? Block the other one? 13 and 14 is 27. Oh god. <laughs> Please don't attack. Yeah, he's not attacking. Perfect. So we uh, survived the debuff phase. How? Why are we not? We can't. This is this is bad. We still don't take damage. And he's on 100. I don't think we can get 100 going without the pen if he's attacking for 30 this turn. Twelve times five, and twenty forty, and twelve times five. I think we get there. Damn! I can't believe we actually managed to. Oh, offering. Oh, double tap. Oh, offering is amazing. Drawn cards, given stuff. Double tap. The next two attacks are played twice. On double tap on pummel, double tap on mind blast, double tap on whirlwind, double tap on immolate. I think double tap is really good in this deck, but offering is always one of the most amazing cards. Drawing five cards and gaining two energy is so strong. I'm gonna take double tap for the fun. Calling bell. We'd gain a lot of max HP, but have curses. We can play the curses with blue candle. It might actually be worth it. Let's take it. Tiny chest, Mercury Hourglass. Champion belt is nice. I think all of these are nice. We're gonna go full on on... We'll have three energy and we'll, we'll rely on our trinket relics to do stuff. One, two, three... So one of these... Certainly want the one of the early shops. Do I want more question marks? I don't want to fight more relics. Give me as many relics as possible. Now we have Molten Egg. Give me a Fire Potion now. Yeah. Now, Shop? Question Question Mark? Or do I want to go for... Relic shop, relic, relic. Two question marks or two relics? And let's go for the later shop and more relics. Oh, we don't draw it again. 
pretty nice. Additional strength I like. It heals for 11 now, right? 10 damage to all enemies? Yeah, I, I like the 10 damage to all enemies. In the third floor we can fight against the spiky boys and explodey boys. Choose a skill from your dropper and place it into your hand. Is that worth it? Do you have any skills we really want? No, I don't think so. Who are we fighting against? Him. I feel like we might want to play Havoc. Almost strike his card draw. Is there another shop coming up? No. So I might as well buy as many cards as possible. Also makes Mind Blast better. One is dead, one down to 3 HP, and this guy on full life. That should be enough, right? Yeah. Oh, Recalcum. That's a good one. Starting to get some really good relics here. block. Now we have 18 block. Oh. 8 damage to all. This is... No, we need to kill one of them. We'll play it like this. Martian's card removal now always costs 5 gold. Smith the other armaments. The armaments will just hopefully upgrade most of our cards and elites. Choose a skill from your draw pile and place it to your hand. I think I want armaments first and play this so it doesn't get exhausted. What skill do we need? Double tap, flex, gain the strength, play this. Double tap, mind blast, strike. Choose a skill card. I want double tap in my starting hand every single time. I want the pummel plus. Oh, this is starting to be really, really nice. Am I gonna upgrade the alchemizers or do I upgrade something like this one? Flex. We have armaments. For when we have alchemizers and we have a very nice suit of potions right now. Blood vial, okay. <laughs> Look how tiny they are because we have so many. So I want to secret weapon the whirlwind and then I double tap whirlwind and then we get three additional strength and then another armaments plus maybe gain three thorns is also nice it's probably more more damage than the poison first then oh no I should have shouldn't have done that. Double tap, mind blast, and then a double card draw. Another armaments. Almost kill you. 
Like I like the thorns. Anthropic brew we'll use when we use almost everything else. Farina bottle is insurance. And then fire potion we don't need. Let's do it like this. Self forming clay steroid. If we hit four times it's better than fire potion. Might work. Probably not though. I guess in, in the first turn it is actually better because we'll hit four times for sure. I can... Wait, we should play other cards first, like Deep Breath. Uh, I play the Cursed first. I'll play Flex. We have a Double Tap, Mind Blast and another attack will be my final touch. So this is gonna be 3 energy. 4 energy, so I think it's worth it to play Strike. Ghostly armor. Oops, I should have done this first. Double tap. Thunderclap. And then hit him with two mind blasts. For well, the maximum slow bonus for mind blasts. And in the end, we dealt quite a bit of damage. Choose a power card. No, 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 I don't want to. No, I don't want to! Stop! Crap! More relics. Didn't want the power card in my starting hand. attacks, gain one strength, the skill potion. Well, maybe we should have retained the block potion trying to perfect the boss. Yeah, I think that was the better one. Oh, this is the new one. He attacks for a lot, but he is transient, so no shift. Yeah, whenever transient takes damage, it loses that much strength until the end of turn. That's a nice one. Choose an attack. good here. Probably play it like this. Second wind is a nice one. Exhaust all of this crap. less damage this time, but we don't have the doubled up mind blast, I guess. Random skill. Random power. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Just need as much damage as possible against this guy, but we don't draw any. At least we're healing some back. Getting rid of the artifact. Why not? Minus 300. And this is his last turn of attacking. very much. And then he goes, three attacks, another Anthropic Brew. I think this is the right decision. Is there an upgrade or do I want to heal? Don't we have the Pentograph to heal us when we enter a boss fight? Doesn't seem like we do. 
Now we have the regal pillow, but not the boss fight healing on. Hmm. Let's get the emulate. Because this is a. The two cultists are kinda annoying. Okay, I like sadistic nature. Give me thorns, play out your eyes. Hit everyone with some damage. Go for a sweet double tap on this guy. We'll poison you, get the Uptrantic, uh, the brew. Do this. 20 damage. We have 11 block. We don't have enough block yet. Can I kill this guy? I have 22 times 2. I don't think we can kill this guy. Snack oil seems bad. I think this might ruin us, but I want to. Can I discard it? Yeah, okay. Go on, Anthropic Brew. Four plated armor, that's 15 block. Smoke bomb doesn't work. Dexterity doesn't help. Poison is okay, but it doesn't help either. We have the Centennial Puzzle though, so that draws us some cards. Another Alchemize. Still unable to do the perfect. Reaper, which deals damage to all and doubled up. Now we can Pendip here. Close, but we lost the perfect, we couldn't kill him in one turn. And we didn't draw any defense. The world went just going through and him not caring at all. Should have crossplayed this first. Well, the perfect didn't work out. Plus one dex, plus one strength. We have 13 strength and four, 5 dex up. That's beautiful. And I guess the perfect just didn't work out here. Fifty block, okay. Do we have Calcifers or something? Oh no, we gain block off the self forming clay. Okay, I see. Eleven hundred, not too bad, and we get a lot of we probably get the relic bonus, right? We have one perfect, we have one overkill. The champions, well fed, librarian, collector. I like shiny, yeah. We got a lot of relics. That was fun. Wasn't amazing points wise, but it was a lot of fun. And our scores are. Uh, this might take a while. 11 or 1 that we have, yeah. Yeah. Mm, 600. Halfway through the day. It's not bad. It was a fun daily though. I guess the vintage made lethality a lot worse. And Brewmasters. I, I feel like Brewmasters are always nice, especially with the potion belt. We had a, we had a lot of great potion action. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.